Hi, my name is Jenny Dufrida, artist and educator here at Southwest School of Art. Welcome to Saturday Morning Discovery. Today we are going to create a mixed media drawing and painting using charcoal and watercolor. Here is an example landscape using watercolor and charcoal. And here are the materials we're going to need for this lesson. Here is charcoal, vine, and compressed charcoal, but today we are going to use charcoal pencil. We're also going to need watercolor, a paintbrush, some water, and paper. You can use any kind of paper you want. I found this book at a yard sale. The owner was going to throw it away. I really like the paper quality in this book, so I am going to use a piece of the paper that came out of this book. Now that I have my paper, I am going to draw a landscape. A landscape can be your front yard, your backyard, trees, bushes, flowers, whatever you like to draw. So here I'm going to draw my landscape. I'm going to draw some hills and a sun rise. and some trees. Remember, you can just sketch out. Don't worry if, it, if you think you made a mistake, you didn't make a mistake. You're just being creative and unique with your drawing. Okay, here I have my landscape drawing. And now I'm gonna start painting. You can use acrylic paints or watercolor. I'm going to use watercolor paints. So now we're going to begin our painting. I'm going to dip my brush in the water and then I'm going to go into my paint. Remember, don't gouge your brush into the paint. Just lightly take your brush and dip dip the paintbrush in the paint, like this. So when you're painting, it's okay if your paint touches the, the charcoal. That just makes the tone darker. It darkens the paint and it just creates value. So just, it's okay if your paint mixes with the charcoal. If it's too wet, also let it dry a little, let the paint dry, and then you can put another layer on top once you feel that it's already dry. And you can blend in the paint also to make different value, color value. When you're painting here on your palette here, you can mix colors right on the palette. Okay, once your painting is dry, you can put more layers of paint on or you can retrace your lines to bring out your images. Here is the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and remember you can draw on any paper surface you find. Hope to see you back at Saturday Morning Discovery. Bye!